What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be showing you guys how we install the Goose Gear system on our 5th gen 4Runner. So this one here is a 2 drawer system. This is a 2 3rd and a 1 3rd drawer. And of course we install the base that is underneath. So we're going to show you guys the entire install. Well, not me, but Tuan, the other Tuan and Gabe are going to show you guys the install. So let's get started. Today we are going to be working on the 4Runner and we're going to be putting on goose gear for the back here so this is the two-third and one-third drawer system and then over here we've got the platform and mr. Gabe is gonna be doing the install let's do this Gabe first up remove the slide two of these uh, cap thingy bobbers all right, so once we remove the two cap things, we're gonna remove these nuts, bolts. bolts. <laughs> oh, four I thought it was side. a nut. All right, we're gonna be removing these nuts. There's gonna be four on each side. After removing the bolts on both sides, simply remove the slide. So we've got this bolt right here one on each side and then up here we are gonna remove this there's a little storage here that I never knew about but we're gonna remove this and then hopefully get to the bottom to get to the rail bolt and uh, we can remove the rail Check out the uh, Rego setup. We've got our toe strap, uh, quick flight, and just puts it out of the way, nice and neat. Pretty cool. All right, here's the other side. All right. That secret storage that nobody knew about will be removed. And then, that bolt right there, this bolt over here, and that should come off. All right, rail is loosey goosey. Let's pull it out and pop this plastic piece off. All right, there's a bunch of clips you gotta unclip to pull this carpet out. Oh yeah, carpet's out. Bare bounds. Gonna remove the OEM audio, which sounds amazing. All right, one last step before putting in the platform. These two brackets right here that go like, like. Yeah, they go like that. That one. And that one, I'm gonna come out. So these brackets will say D for driver, P for passenger, and they'll get bolted down to that same factory hole right there. Alright, so for these brackets, they will come with these black 
bolts and washer. It's going to be the two shortest bolts they provide for us. I'm going to tighten those down. Just going to try to align these two holes with that bracket that we just installed. All right, before we throw on these bolts on the backside, you want to put this plastic piece back in so it doesn't look stupid. Just like so, push down them tabs, and then now we can put the bolts back in on the two rear corners, and it looks flush. And these two holes are the same holes we took that bracket off. It's gonna be the long bolts. All right, here's the drawer system. Two thirds and one third. It slides out. This is what the inside looks like. Pretty clean. The slide is actually pretty solid. Pretty good grip on those rails, so it feels really good. Doesn't feel like all loose and comes out really fast. You know what I mean. All right, so to install this thing on that thing, I'm gonna remove the drawers. So Mitch and Gabe's gonna pull that out right now. Oh. Okay, both drawers out. And we will have access to these brackets right here on each side and, and that's Mitch is, gonna crawl in there. Mitch is gonna crawl inside and we're gonna shut the drawer on him all right so with these brackets that they have in here already you're gonna loosen them and then you're gonna slide them to match up with these pre-drilled holes on the four corners here so we're gonna space them out close to where it's kind of close to these holes and we'll have somebody climb up in there and uh, bolt them down. So these guys here, unbolt them so that you can slide them. And then you can tighten, tighten it up a little bit to where it'll hold its own. All right. Once we line up those brackets close enough, let's bring the drawer system over. And now, you can put those brackets exactly lined up with where they're supposed to be. And the back ones. This part, somebody's gotta climb up in there. Me. Mitch, ready? <laughs> <laughs> Only one gonna be able to. I mean, I could probably fit in there. Here, Mitch goes. So he's going to line up those two brackets in the back, probably just bolts them down while he's in there. And then 
we'll get these two outside ones throw the drawer back in and we're good to go all right so we've got the back brackets tightened down Mitch is tightening down the front ones then we throw the drawer back on and we are done all right Just like butter. You ever heard of that song? No, I haven't. You don't know what BTS is. Here's the other slide. Drawer. I make up names for everything. Watch the old videos. Mm -hmm. Especially that one. Check it out. We still have lot of room on the top to pack stuff in and we have an organized drawer system you gotta push this button pull this out pretty what is this like a three two and a half feet there's probably some uh, real specs these uh latches are really nice push this button right here pull it out plenty of room so this is the this is the deck of the forerunner <laughs> pretty sweet comes with two sets of keys let's not give these to Tuan because he'll lose them that looks very very clean digging it all right guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful if you guys are installing yours, but this is a premium drawer system. So it is gonna be a little more money compared to one that you could build yourself or a cheaper one. So Twan and Gabe have done the install on this for a while now. So we've had it on here for about six months now and we absolutely love it. The build quality and everything is top notch. The slide, the latches, everything is top notch. So if you guys are really serious about organizing your area and really getting into this whole overland scene, um, this is definitely something that should be on your list. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you guys are subscribed and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.